Okay, here we go in post-trib moment number 14. Um, here again, <laughs> this is another good one. You're going to enjoy this one. Today I want to talk about 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, which I've often been shown by those who believe in the pre-trib rapture. And this is a verse that they believe is very clear evidence that the rapture comes before the tribulation. Let me read it for you, and, and you can be the judge. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Well, there you have it, folks. Crystal clear, right? I mean, that verse just teaches a, a pre-trib rapture. I don't understand uh, how you don't see it, viewer. Well, actually, I'm just kidding. I don't see it either. Because, because you're spiritually dead. It's not there. The Bible says, he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. It's a pretty vague verse for these pre-tribbers to be resting their entire doctrine upon. Now, Okay, uh, first of all, pre-tribbers like myself do not rest our entire doctrine on this passage. There's lots of scripture to talk about a pre-trib rapture. Okay, and it's not vague. It's crystal clear to somebody who is saved and who has the Holy Spirit. You say, Pastor Anderson, how do they even get a pre-trib rapture out of that verse? Well... It's easy. They get it from Schofield's notes. In the okay, now watch this. Okay, first of all, he says they get it from Schofield's notes. Uh, no, we get it from the Lord. We get it from the Holy Spirit. All right. Now, what he does here is he uses Schofield's notes, which happen to be wrong in this particular instance. Schofield teaches that the Holy Spirit is removed. I don't teach that. I teach that the he who now letteth there is the body of Christ. Okay? The body of Christ is removed from the earth. And that's what reveals the Antichrist. Read Revelation. Again, one more time for those of you who haven't seen all these different things. There are four and twenty elders. Okay, these are not angels. Four and twenty elders. And you say, well, who are they? They say here, Hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation and by the way hast made us unto our God kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth who is millennial reign promised to the body of Christ and they are here in Revelation chapter 5 Revelation chapter 6 the Antichrist shows up he's unleashed on the earth in verse 2 he says, oh, it's vague. Oh, there's no proof that the, that the body of Christ is there before the Antichrist. Hey, stupid, it's right here in front of your face. I mean, give me a break. The 24 elders. And there's, by the way, a large number, you know, the voice of many angels. The Bible says in the resurrection we are as the angels of God. We are the sons of God, you know, in the, in the resurrection. Okay, <laughs> This guy does not know scripture. It's incredible. Let's continue. Schofield reference Bible, he explains. Now watch. Watch this. Listen to the tone of his voice. Listen to him change his voice because he has to be sarcastic. You know, so don't get upset at me for my sarcasm. He's just as sarcastic as I am. Only I'm right and he's wrong. Deal with it. That he who now letteth is the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has to be taken out of the way before the Antichrist can be revealed. And since the Holy Spirit lives inside believers, that means believers have to be taken from this earth in order for the Holy Spirit to be removed. Then the Antichrist can be revealed. And so the Holy Spirit is restraining the Antichrist. And so believers have to be removed. Now look, let me explain to you why this is completely unbiblical and blasphemous and false doctrine. Ooh, blasphemous. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, first of all, like I said, it's not the Holy Spirit that's removed. So his whole point here, again, he sets up a straw man argument. He says, well, Schofield taught it, and that's what all pre-tribbers believe. He's a liar. That's not what we believe. That's not what we teach. It's the body of Christ that has to be removed before the Antichrist can show up. First of all, the Holy Spirit is God. You cannot just take God out of the way. He's God. He's everywhere. The Bible says that if we... Okay. Again, you know, he's set up this false argument. And he talks about, you know, that God is everywhere. God is omnipresent. Yeah, I've said that myself. All right? He's not saying anything here that we don't already know. Let's skip ahead. Not in the, in the verse at all. There's no mention of the Holy Spirit. And that leads me to my next point. 
Okay, yeah, that's exactly what I said. The Holy Spirit's not in there. All right, I don't teach that. It's the body of Christ that has to be removed. It's the body of Christ that is letting, that is hindering the Antichrist from showing up. This guy's a liar. But just wait till you see who he says is the he who now letteth. This, you talk about a, a blasphemous bunch of lies. Listen to this. Let me see if I can find it here. You know, the pronoun he pointing to that person, actually who the he is referring to, the he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. It's talking about the man of sin being killed because he receives a deadly wound. And if you remember, his deadly wound is healed. But the Bible says he's wounded to death. And in Revelation 17, it says that he ascends out of the bottomless pit. And of course, that's a whole nother sermon. And I've preached on that and explained that many times. Wow. Isn't that something? So in other words, here in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, you have that he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Okay? According to silly Steve Anderson here, this he is actually the Antichrist. And he has to be taken out of the way before the wicked is revealed. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that doesn't make any sense at all. This guy does not know the Bible. And I'm telling you right now, he is... He is just destroying people's faith in the pre-trib rapture, and it's all based on lies. It's not based on sound scripture. This guy is just incredible. I'll tell you what. The he who now letteth will let, in Second Thessalonians chapter 2, is a reference to the body of Christ. It is not a reference to the Antichrist, for crying out loud. Okay? I mean, give me a break. I mean, the the Bible is so clear. The body of Christ is in heaven before the Antichrist is revealed. 